Would you date a foreign guy? いや、ちょっと難しいかなと。なんだろう、価値観の違いがでも、ま、気が合えばいいのかな。恋愛だったらしてみたいとは思いますね。結婚はなしですね。あ、自分自身そんな結婚したいっていう願望があんまないので、う
え知らない<笑>えすごいさなんかじゃないなんか海外歩いてるとさなんかナンパとかだったら全然いるけどそうじゃなくてそうじゃなくって真面目に声かける人<笑>だからナンパだったらもういかにも分かるじゃないですか、飲み行かないとかさ、1人とか、今帰りとかって言われると、なんかこうやってなるけど、あそうだ、なんか道が行,行,かな行きたい場所があって、でちょっと分かんなくなっちゃったときに、声かけてくれて、半信半疑で聞いたら、ちゃんと教えてくれて、その場所まで連れてってくれたときに、バスも一緒に途中で降りて連れてってくれた時はこれだよって思いました日本人でここまでしないだろうなって一緒にお茶でもみたいに言われたら行ってた予定がなかったら行ってた<笑>かもしれない別に何も足りなくないんじゃないですかもうちょっと自分に自信持っていいかなとは思います<笑>なんかなんか結構なんか相談されること多くってその一歩,一歩踏み出せない人が結構多い友人が多いからなんか最近の人車とか持ってないじゃないですかなんかわけわかんない仕事とかについて<笑>、ね、だからなんか自立もうちょっとした方がいいのかなって思いますなんか冒険心みたいな<笑>例えば大学生だったらなんかもっとその時しかできないことみたいなのを思い切ってやっちゃうのもありなのかなって思うんですけどなんていうのかな飲みとかそういうので終わっちゃうのはすごいもったいないんじゃないかなって思いますただ大学で単位取ってフルタンだわーって喜んでるのはちょっとつまんないなって私の個人的な考え方ではあって Is there anything you like about Japanese guys? 真面目だと思う真面目なところ時間守るとか<笑>時間守るとでもまあ大半は大半はちゃんと働いてるから割合は真面目な人が多い良いところは優しいです柔らかい同じく優しいって雰囲気が、ま、丸いですねやはりで相手がちゃんとできないこともちゃんとフォローできるしで逆に自分ができないこともちゃんと言ってあのフォローしてもらえるっていう,こう持ちつ持たれつの関係ができるかなとは思います Have you ever been abroad and where? 韓国<笑>サイパン、オーストラリア、カナダ、フランス、スペイン、イタリアです。オーストラリアと,、えー、とドイツ、オーストリア、オランダです。自分は行ったことないです。はい、アメリカ、タイ、韓国、カナダ、<笑>あとフィリピン、そのくらいです。なんでフィリピン。Hey guys, it's Yuta here. If you are interested in dating in Japan, I would recommend my new book. There's something I want to tell you true stories of mixed dating in Japan. You know, I interviewed a bunch of people for this book, and their stories are so interesting. I sometimes find myself immersed in this book, forgetting that I wrote it myself. So go to Amazon, Kobo, or iBooks and check out the book. So, Jasnik2 says, In my experience, people from the southern part of a country generally are friendlier than those from the north. I've heard this said about Italians and Germans. This also seems to be generally true in the US. People from the southern US generally are friendlier than in the north. Well, that's an interesting observation, and I think that might be generally true, but let me just point out that in Britain, northern people are generally friendlier than southern people. Well, at least that's my impression. So, yeah, there are exceptions. I don't know, how about other countries? How about Portugal? How about Canada?、Uh, okay, there's only southern parts、uh, in Canada.、Um, how, about, how about Czech Republic? And how about Brazil? I think in Brazil, northern people are generally friendlier than the southern people, maybe. Well, guys, how about in your country? Please let me know. So, m e c h a i Makeup says, Since moving to Japan, I've met so many kind and welcoming people. When I'm walking the street of Tokyo, if I'm not sure where I'm going, someone will always stop and ask me if they can show me around or give me directions. 
Well, I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that you met nice people in Japan. It makes me happy, especially in Tokyo. Well, unfortunately, in Tokyo, when I'm lost, it's most of the time when I'm trying to find my a friend's house. And Japanese postal addresses tend to be very, very complicated and difficult. So I don't think anybody can help me with the directions unless they live in the exact same place. Actually, I made a podcast episode about Japanese addresses, so if you guys are curious, check it out. And T. Parish says, Japanese guys speaking Spanish. That just made my week. Es que quiere aprender un poco más de español, pero no tengo mucho tiempo. Pero, si ustedes quieren no hablar español conmigo, háblenme. Eso me haría muy feliz. And Pedro says, Hola, nice video. Eu só falo português do Brasil, mas acho que vocês podem me entender. Gostaria de visitar Portugal um dia. So Erin says, I'm a white woman and Tokyo is a lot of salaryman. People were more rude in Kyoto and I got embarrassed a few times in Hiroshima. It's Kushima was nice of course, but it's clearly a tourist spot. I was really shocked by how Hiroshima's reacted to a white person walking the street or taking the train. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but you know, those things do seem to happen in Japan sometimes. And Hiroshima is fairly touristy in a way. But when I grew up in Hiroshima, I was back in early 90s. I don't remember seeing anybody who was not Asian. I did interact with a white American man, but that was pretty much it. By the way, yeah, Itsukushima is quite touristy, but when I was little, we would go there several times, so local people also go there. So, let me ask you a question. Are you still listening? Because if you are, I think 90% of the people have already dropped out in the middle of the video, but、uh, if you are still listening, uh, Thank you, thank you very much. I, I really appreciate it. And you will probably enjoy my podcast channel as well. So, link is in the description. Check it out. All right, about this interview, it's, it was so hard to interview Japanese women. And I think mostly because I was alone and I was a guy. Now, think about it a random Japanese guy interviewing random people. It's very, very hard. People are generally very cautious. And for, for example, if I was with somebody else, especially with a girl, I think it would have been much, much easier. But then I thought, I think I, I thought this as some kind of challenge. So, you know, I was like, okay, I have to pull this off. I would easily get rejected by 40 people in a row. And rejection therapy. Except it was harder. And it was a real rejection because I really wanted to interview people. But in the end, I'm very glad that、uh, I was able to interview many different girls. You know, they have very different opinions about、uh, dating non Japanese men. And actually, there's so much to comment. I'm kind of thinking of making an extra video with my commentary. I don't know. Would you guys be interested? Because I would be interested, but you know, if nobody wants to watch it, it probably doesn't make sense to make it. And how are you doing lately? I, I've been quite busy because I,、uh, I just published my book today. So I'm, I'm doing a lot of talking to my friends and giving away my books to、uh, those who helped me along the way. And it's actually quite exciting、uh, writing a book and publishing it because I've always wanted to write a book. And there's some funny stories about this book because the book has been available to pre order for a while, a couple of weeks. And、uh, one of my friends sent me a message saying that、uh, her mom pre ordered my book. It's just funny because it's, it's about. Intercultural dating in Japan, and、uh, you, you never know, maybe her mom is interested in you know, dating in Japan, or maybe she wants to know what it's like for her daughter to live in Japan and date Japanese guys. Her daughter's experience in Japan, because this, you know, 
that the book is a very good way of knowing what will happen in Japan if you just move to Japan. And speaking of mothers, so there was a, another friend of mine. She's actually Japanese, but her mom randomly added me on Facebook, and she sent me a friend request, which I accepted. And she likes my Facebook statuses, so it's cool. I like this kind of because by my other video,、uh, somebody commented saying that、uh, she she watched my video with her mom. So it's like you know, apparently I have a very broad range of audience, which is cool, which I like. So I don't know. Tell your mom,、uh, maybe she will be interested in、uh, this channel or my book. Oh, you know what I need at the moment? It's uh, uh, reviews. So, if you happen to read my book, please leave me a review on Amazon.com or like a good read, and it really, really helps. So I would appreciate it. And your comment on this video is always welcome. So, so let's continue the conversation、uh, in, in the comment section. Hope to hear from you. See you guys later. Ciao ciao.